I don't know, folks. Your ball buckles when you choose your five numbers after the name. A little mirror mode. Now, I mean, it's kind of conclude the last mode here that I haven't hit on yet, man. Mirror mode took me for a loop, man. So, mirror mode. I, the first time I ever experienced a mirror mode was, I believe, in the N64 one. I, I mentioned this a couple of videos ago, and I still haven't been able to get a chance to look at it. I'm not sure if there was a mirror mode on the Super Nintendo one. I kind of don't think there would be, but maybe there was. But the first time I ever, like, really remember it and experienced it was in the N64 one, and it was cool. I, I remember, like, being the game, not expecting it to be anything else. All of a sudden, a mirror mode unlocks, and I'm like, what? Like, that's dope. And they, like, give you a different, um, you know, a different, like, little theme when you come in and, like, start the game or whatever. So I thought all that was pretty cool. Um, on this, uh, uh, on, on the deluxe edition, everything's kind of unlocked already. You kind of go in and play everything willy-nilly, aside from the carts and uh, the uh, Golden Mario and the Golden Cart and whatnot. Uh, but everything else is there. And I, I'm not a big fan of that. I would have preferred if they didn't, but I kind of, I, I get why it's done that way. I, I, I don't like it, but it's fine. Uh, so I played through the game, you know, 50cc, 100cc, swept through everything. At a buck 50, I think, and like, uh, yeah, this couple, one with the Rainbow Road, I think I lost, like, in the Magma stage. or something like Bowser's Castle, I think I, like, lost. And I was like, oh, world, like, this just got hard, whatever. That one did mirror mode. And after playing the stages a certain way, like, over and over and over again, Mirror Mode really throws you in for a loop, and I honestly don't think I'd ever go back and play a Mirror Mode one. I kind of concluded that when I was done. I, you got a better chance of seeing me at 200cc than you do Mirror Mode. Because 200cc, at least, if you're playing with like a friend like I play with Fabio, is goofy, is fun, whatever, you get a good laugh out of it. Mirror Mode was just like, oh, man, like everything. And then I went to go play online, and the courses, you know, for the most part, I think, I, I'm not sure if there's any other options, but I only ran into 100 and I think a buck 50cc online. All straight up courses too, not like anything, you know, uh, not any mirror mode, not 200 cc or nothing like that. So it was like an adjustment period to go back to that. I was like, oh, that's right, these courses are like this. Why are they like this? And I was like, oh, they're like this because this is the damn way that the damn thing should be. Like this is how the game should be played. So I'm, I'm, I'm not a big fan of mirror mode in this game. Uh, it threw me for a loop. It's cool that it's in there though, uh, and I think uh, it's fine as like a one kind of time experience. I don't see myself playing it over there. And I'd be interested to see how you guys feel about mirror mode, whether it's something that y'all actually go and play or whether you actually don't go and play ever again. I, I'd be thrown for a loop if I go and play online and there's a mirror mode. I almost want to say that that's probably not even an option to do that or 200. Unless you go, I guess you go to like a custom tournament and maybe click whatever you want on it. Not 100% sure about that. I've only done it a little bit with, uh, a little bit with Joe as we try to uh, experiment with Nintendo's amazing online infrastructure that's just stellar. Gosh, I already did a video complaining about that. I'm not going to complain about that again. 